So I've now straightened up so that it's perfectly vertical the way it should be. And the level of accuracy is much higher when you're so much closer to the Just filling in the line I've scored. And then that, that line I'll want to split that later. And that's still perfect as it was before. The first one I'll carry on using that because it's perfect. This time I'm using the pencil like this because I'm so much closer now, I don't need to use that. I don't need to get in underneath. If you can see that. You know, normally I use it on the flat, so you have to plus a few millimeters for that thickness. But now I'm using it on the bevel because I'm in much closer. to see that, that is uh, five centimeters to the tap uh, to the pulse the throat speaking everywhere you go over the line there'll be a hole slightly deeper inside than it is on the edge. That way it rests down on the edge.
and that's got a little bit of weight on it. Should tighten that. I want to make something that looks very like that. That one's not as steep. This one's steeper. This one's steeper than that one as well. So I've got these ones as reference and I can see that that's uh, much steeper. This one is much steeper than that one. So again, I'm going to make it quite tight. That one goes further back. That one goes further back. 
I want to make it bigger than the, than the old one so that I can make it smaller again in the wall when it's when I'm closer to to where I want to be in the end um, thing is I, I can't get this piece of timber under the wall there if I don't take out a little bit of this first I don't think that's why I'm doing that it's quite sensible when you do this to put something underneath I lift it out of the Oh, I just can't get that out there, it's so heavy. Good to lift that up so that you can cut the shinning, the cheek. If you leave it down in the house, you tend to cut into the, the into the the, old, the timber underneath, which is not a good thing. So it's good to have some sacrificial wood to cut into. Now I can really make the most of the chainsaw. I'm not sure actually I want to use the chainsaw, I think I might just use that. That doesn't go very deep. So it should be back here somewhere really, or like that. But like I say, I want to make it a bit smaller than it should be. If I take away too much woodwork at the beginning, I, I might waste all of the work that I've done, which would be, that's just not an option. Gives you a kind of I 
be about five deep really. And we've got it at four deep, which is the same as it as this, but this should be a little bit higher than that as well. Six and a half. Six and a half in the middle, that's fine. So I'm gonna cut that with the chainsaw as well. See how that cut would have gone in the timber if it hadn't been lifted up.
Well, it certainly looks smaller. This look, looks smaller than that, which is a good thing. The house has to go up a little bit. 